Hello everybody, this is Cabez Games, and welcome back to Dreadnought. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Tier 3 Destroyer of the Medium Weight Class. The, um, AFOTS subtype, or the Otrento. So, the Otrento is, again, a set Medium Destroyer of, um, the Tier 3. It comes at a 25,500 hit points. Up to a range of 1,200 meters only, but in a maximum range of 6,000 meters. Level firepower 1,680 DPS, or uh, 7,000, I mean. Defense 75 sh uh, shield absorption is pretty standard, energy consumption is standard. 41 maneuverability rating, 80 energy. And we're going to be comparing those to the other um, ships. Uh, they're only as really, they're only really the uh, Dola because the Light Destroyer is only tier 4. So the Dota comes in at 38,000 health, so it's way much more. Unknown weapon range is also longer, but uh, the velocity of those guns actually is slower, so it's a bit harder to hit. As its range, same amount of energy, slower maneuverability, and level firepower 1559. So even though it has longer range, its average DPS is a bit lower. So with this, the Dola actually a bit more of the longer range, while the our Trento fits a bit more of the medium to short range. So if it comes to appearance, um, this, the forecastle, this is a standard forecastle, and this is what you get with the Otrento. You also should have the revolver front part, which I actually like best, so that's why I'm actually taking it. So uh, this is none, this is the base uh, variant. The Otrento is this as for our kit, and then we have the revolver hull, which I also like better. <laughs> I'm going to keep those equipped again. So this is a standard uh, front piece, or Trento, and the way bigger Defalgar bridge. So I'm going to go back to the Trento, and the last piece is in the rear. So this is standard engine bay, the Trento, Defalgar. And we're going to go back, and we're going to go to our loadout. So you have uh, multiple different possible loadouts. For secondary weapons, you have the light particle turrets and the flag turrets. The light particle turrets are very low DPS, but they can fire up to 6,000 meters. They're not really good at all, and I really do not suggest using them. Instead, take the flag turrets. They only have 800 meter range, but their damage per second output is really high. And since you can fire and then reload, and then switch to your uh, main guns while the secondary flag turrets reload. Like, it only has four uh, uh, shots in its clip, so it really unloads really fast. Then you switch to your main guns, and because of that, you really can get a very high damage output with those. Um, I do not have every single equipment piece unlocked here. I'm missing the Plasma Ram and Storm missiles, but I generally think the Goliath Torpedo is better than the Plasma Ram, unless you have the Light Destroyer, because the Light Destroyer is the only one that can really utilize the Plasma Ram. And the Storm missiles aren't really too great either. I mean, you do have the 2,000 meter range, but this one has more range and more damage, even though it is harder to hit with than the Storm missiles are. It is still the more powerful weapon there. So that's why I'm keeping the Goliath Torpedo. And they've got the Tempest missiles, they have the long range, but they have less damage. This is the current, the long range setup, basically. You have the Torpedo Salvo, which is the, on the second uh, damage module, which uh, goes up to 6,000 damage for 3,000 meter range. Moonbreaker missile will uh, decrease enemy damage of one enemy ship for 8 seconds. At a range of 13,000 meters, it can really just target anyone. And it's best used against artillery cruisers or tactical cruisers because it will actually also reduce the output of healing. And that's actually one thing you have to consider there. And it goes Train Torpedo, which can drain energy from uh, enemies at short distances, uh, like up to 2,400 meters. You generally want to pop this one and then the nuke. So they cannot equip their shields. And even if they do equip their shields, the energy will get drained and it will deactivate before the Goliath hits. And that enables the maximum damage of the Goliath. Because this is the downside of the Goliath. Like, if people pop their shields, it really does nothing at all. Here, in the perimeter um, module slot, you can have the weapon booster pulse, 
which is going to increase weapon damage for up to 75% at a 600 meter radius for or you and your allies. And then the auto guns can give you 1000 damage per second at a range of 1400 meters. Not really the greatest, in my opinion. Scrammer Pulse can um, scramble people's visuals, but experienced players are not affected to it at all because they can still shoot as you're based on your trajectory. Like if you fly from right here to here and you scramble them right at that moment, they will start shooting at this point and then move to this point and then to this point, hoping that you will not change direction. And generally your destroyers are not like mobile enough maneuverable enough to really change direction so you'll still get shot normally they might not be able to pop their modules but it really doesn't do much and the third slot we have the jump drive which is a nice nifty utility module but it's not really where the juicy parts is and the generator is also not really needed like uh technical cruisers really like it because they can amplify their guns more to heal faster or activate the shields more because they really need their shields often like it's a really good backup if you pop, uh, like quick heal someone and then you get ambushed by a Gravat that has been waiting for you to do it but we got the weapon amplifier for eight seconds we can get an additional 60 percent damage boost and it stacks together with the weapon booster pulse like you actually like get 75% decrease and then an additional 60%, also 60% of the 75%, like it, it doubles up a lot. And I have this long range kit right now, even though the Dota would probably be better fit with this loadout because it's heavier and its guns are of a longer optimal range. Like this, uh, the Dota would probably be a better fit for this. Although at the same time, Dota can also be like Shrugger at the short distance and actually take this heavier hit. So I actually like the mobility of this thing more. Stay around at a distance and move around. Lastly, we got Module Reboot, which is one of the most powerful modules in the entire game. It re uh, at the cost basically of having a fourth module slot, you get double up on all your other modules. It is really powerful. You do not get the double up power of the two weapon amplifiers, but you can get an extra weapon breaker missile. You can extra, like you can get longer weapon boosting pulls, and you can get more missiles and more torpedoes. It is a really dangerous module, but it gets way stronger in tier four. Uh, if you can have um, uh, the uh, the I think it was communications like the rest uh, the last. Uh, resort module that's where it gets the most powerful so we're gonna be taking this loadout and we're gonna taking it out in a match if matchmaking hopefully it will not take too long so yeah there is a tier 4 version so if you can get your hands on the tier 4 variant of course it'll be stronger but we'll be grinding out the uh, trento for quite a while because not only give you do we get a pretty fine destroyer you can also get this Jutland Dreadnought, which is the heaviest tier 4 Dreadnought in the game. And even though it might not have much damage output compared to this thing, like, it does have a lot of health. So we're gonna have Ixion Conquest Mode. Conquest Mode, uh, I'm actually happy with this one because then the Dola actually is like worse on this mode than this thing is. Because the Dola is slower. Here we go. There we go, plus Modius does have the Dola, so this is the Dola. I'll also do a video on this one, hopefully soon, but I will have to grind it out since I only have like the base ship and not really anything else. And it looks like our allies are not yet spawning anything in. Oh, here we go, we got a uh, Nox class light titter cruiser. We have a second Otranto. Here we got an Invictus. Okay, Plasmodius is at least swapping to a um, Tycho Cruiser, so that's nice. And I have to check out that thing. That's a really, really cool front piece for <laughs> the Nox class, damn. We've linked our territory to our allies. Okay, let's get to move on here. We're going to A. And we're gonna throw a weapon breaker missile at 
anything we can see at shorter distances. Damn, I like that front piece. Mm, not close enough. He is not in firing distances. Neither of those. So is that really any use to show them that we have the weapon breaker with on just yet? We've secured the control point. Got the point, and we're gonna head forward now. Mainly towards the left here. And we found our target for our one breaker missile. Oh, three, two, one. There we go. Launch the missiles. He doesn't have any healers around, so, uh. I wanna wait for my uh, energy to regenerate. Actually, we're gonna need that energy now for shields, so we're gonna stick around. He has his arm booster pole, so there's no need to activate our ultimate <laughs> damage output just yet. Two, one, reload. And we're gonna be popping the weapon booster and the weapon amplifier now. Ah, it's already dead. <laughs> okay, we got a target to put the damage. Look at that damage. There he goes. Systems drained. Don't really care. He is, was a bit late with his shields there. <laughs> oh, he used me as shield, the bastard, the other guy. Uh, he will be retreating for a while. Let's finish off this dude. Alright, let's move down. And we're gonna be surprising that dude. It is where the mobility of this thing comes in. There we go. Weapon breaker, don't really wanna have to take any more damage. No, I don't have to. He's using his armor amp, and he does have a healer, but as soon as he uh, deactivates it, it's gonna be reloading. Wait for it. There we go. Okay, let's take this guy out. Got the triggers, now we have to wait until we get into the right firing angles here. Okay, that's an ally. Point defended. Ah, oh, we're a little bit too low. We need to get more distance. Or somehow otherwise. I'm right, buying weapons. Here we go. Got him. Got him. Activate shields and let, the sh let him eat those missiles. I need to get that weapon breaker missile on there or something. Oh, I also have the weapon booster, sir. I think he's gone. Yeah, he warped out here. That's fine. Okay, we got a dreadnought popping behind us. Could you some repairs, sir? Thank you. Outside of range. There he is. There he goes, there, there go the secondary weapons there. Boom, boom, boom. And now I need to repair. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, oh, Jesus. We 
can take him out. There we go. What we need to do is uh, move towards the right. There go our weapon amp systems. Uh, we have to move up to north here and get some uh, really nice territory there. I'm not afraid of fearing those missiles because they're going directly at me and it will be going into the walls there. But I should have a lot of territory here to be able to cut up. Should be fine here. Let's power up. I have to go to around 33. There we go. I'm glad that I got closer because that will only allow me. Okay. I'm now inside of his firing range. So he will start firing at me. Oh, he started warping at me. Where is he warping? Where is he exactly warping? Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, got him. Uh, don't want to have to turn around a little bit faster. Gonna waste all of my energy in this maneuver. Come on. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, good. We should be able to do a lot here. Oh, they're coming to point. That's not good. I want to boost some weapons. Now shields against those projectiles. Okay, he's also warping forward. Weapon breaker out. Push the pulse. Our fleet has secured control point beta. And there we go. And now we have to get Alpha really fast. Thanks, man, for the heals. It's just that they have the territory right here. Nice, they lost the connection. We lost connection, and as soon as we have this point, we'll be going at a lot. You'll be looking at a lot and a lot of uh, territory. Let's take out that guy, support. And now we have to go and move forward fast. Bit up high. I want to get a bit closer to cover. Don't care about too much about beta right now. We we already lost it, effectively. We just have to keep this um, area, hold it as much as possible. There we go. Have fun. <laughs> he he is go is getting burned up. Wow, his healers are doing good job keeping him alive. I'll have to fall back here. I was looking at the missiles. Ah, rip. We lost. Can't win them all, can we? GG. Well played. Whew. Did get the maximum points on the team. Wow. Yeah, that's also possible. 
Eight kills, best of match, best of match, and best of team in three <laughs> ways. Okay. Now we're gonna go back. And, um, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna split the episode here. So this is gonna, is gonna be the first episode of this ship with the loadout of the long range, and then I'll be doing a separate video about the short range. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys all in the second part of the video. See ya.